this was an eye opener, this was a mind opener. Life changing. It was something that I was looking for. It was quite thrilling, it was quite hectic. All the expectations that I had were met. You can say, um, Stepping Song unleashed a direct everything. The African Filmmaking Fellowship is a program that we run at the University of Cape Town in the Centre for Film and Media Studies. The aim of the program is to bring together a group of African scholars and postgraduate students to take part in the Stepping Stone course and then to also equip these fellows with all of the resources and knowledge that they need to start similar courses back at their home universities or in their home communities. We felt that this was a way also for us to contribute uh, to filmmaking in the region and on the continent. When representatives from the Robert Bosch Stiftung visited Hermann Wasserman, he immediately thought of this concept of creating a fellowship that sits on top of the Stepping Stone program, which is one of our flagship community engagement projects. The project is set up in a way that we want to amplify the effects of the fellowship. So we bring students, plus we bring mentors from universities. So that it's a team of two that will apply together. We want to empower the postgraduate students to improve their filmmaking skills and we want to keep that knowledge within the institution so that's why we also invite the lecturer to come along. The outcome is to spread these skills and knowledge that we have at our disposal here in Cape Town to a broader African context. The African Filmmaking Fellowship consists of three parts. The first part is the Stepping Stone course. The second part is a facilitated training week during which the participants are skilled with tools that they need to design, run and implement their own uh, video skills training courses. Every week it builds on as they accumulate more skills. The Stepping Stone course is divided into three phases. The first phase includes uh, formal inputs. We go into conceptualizing documentaries, training, camera training, editing training. And all of the skills needed to produce documentary films. During the second phase they produce a short profile and once they've successfully completed those profiles they go into production for a real client. So then they go out and um, they handle the brief from the client from um, inception to completion. It was a reality check of the rigor that is involved in production work, you know, from the conceptualization of an idea, the adrenaline rush that is, you know, that is associated with standing in front of people and basically pitching your idea to them. It's been really, really helpful being thrown in the deep end, but we've learned all the things that you really need to make a documentary. Now I know how to edit, I know how to do all the thing, you name it, in the production unit. We have our mentors helping them execute practical challenges that they might have and also to help with the production aspect of the, of the exercises. Often as a mentor, you have to listen and see what they can teach you and not necessarily what you can teach them because you need to be able to listen and use their strengths to find the best possible outcome. I got to meet new people who I could exchange information with, I could teach a few things and I also learned a couple of things from them as well. It's really interesting to see how people have this innate passion to tell stories and how involved they actually want to get in, in telling the story. I love this course because it just it brings people from different backgrounds and cultures together. One of the important things that they walk away with is access to this network of like-minded people. It's a community of interest. Stepping Stone was just a stone for all of us African countries or African filmmakers to step on and be able to do wonders. It really made me sort of like also want to redefine the way that I've been lecturing in fundamentals of film and video production. Right now I'm ashamed of my previous work that I did in Namibia. <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. The Stepping Stone course is open source for all of our participants, so they can literally take our course design and curriculum and lesson plan and go and start Stepping Stone Nairobi or Namibia. Blue Way or Zimbabwe. Currently working on Stepping Stone ECAS.
exactly this to take it straight to the communities. I think it's such a vital platform for filmmakers to hone their skills um, so that we can start telling stories from our continent. They have taken individuals from different parts of the African continent and taking them from the level where they were playing to a new level that is going to affect not just the individuals themselves but the communities and countries that they represent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.